I'm Lee Teschler with EE World and Design World, and I'm here with Len Crane from Coilcraft, and we're talking about transformers. Now, Len, I always thought that you've seen one transformer, you've seen them all, but actually some don't look like transformers, and there's also a more general term for them called a coupled inductor. Can you sort this out for us? What's the difference between a transformer and a coupled inductor? Well, we, we can try. Uh, generally, the term coupled inductor is used in applications where um, the device, the magnetic device, is expected to store energy, so it, and then it is sort of uh, released through a second, second winding, as opposed to generally transformers thought of, uh, even like a 50, 60 hertz transformer, where the power goes in and it immediately comes out by the turns ratio, let's say. Whereas a coupled inductor is really designed more of a pulse type application, a flyback, people usually call flyback transformers, and they're really coupled, uh, coupled inductors. Now those two uh, different applications, are they both designed the same way? No, they're designed slightly differently and it affects the number of turns and the ratio because they operate slightly differently. In a forward mode con uh, transformer, really the output is dependent mostly on the turns ratio and the duty cycle. In a flyback or a sepic or other coupled inductor applications, it depends on the transformer turns ratio, but it does not always have such a straightforward relationship with the duty cycle, for example. It's dependent on input voltage, output voltage, so we store energy and then uh, the energy is drawn out of the secondary winding for, for a variety of applications and, and topologies. And I understand it used to be that coupled inductors, they were basically custom-made parts, but not so much anymore, right? That's right. That's one of the things we're really working on is to try and offer more standard products uh, for two reasons. It, it's certainly time to market for the customers. It expedites their selection here. It's already done. And if they're pre-designed off the shelf, there should, that gives us the opportunity as a manufacturer to design them better for manufacturing and reliability, low cost, obviously, and in particular with transformers or coupled inductors now, size. So we can really optimize the design, whereas often if it's a quick turnaround in a, in a custom design situation, it's less likely to be truly optimized, in a, especially in a quick design cycle situation. In some of these designs, I'm surprised, um, they're actually really tiny. Could you talk about that a little bit for us? Right, and what, what we at Coilcraft have done, is we've adopted really the manufacturing techniques and design types from, our, from the single inductor type magnetics. So we didn't really start with the typical transformer bobbins and try and shrink them, but we started with the uh, single winding inductors, which are very much optimized in terms of packing factor, really miniature inductors, and we've seen wire wound inductors shrink down on the RF side of things, you know, to tiny, tiny, almost invisible sizes. So we've developed a line of uh, coupled inductors based on those type of technologies um, in both one-to-one -one ratios as well as interesting turns ratios, interesting. let's say. And they're really significantly size reduced in clean shapes and especially low profile in nature. I see. We've got some examples here behind us. Could you uh, kind of tell us what we're looking at? Sure. Um, a couple of things. First of all, we're offering a lot of these parts in a design, designer's kit. So designers can select from a range of inductance values. They're all one-to-one -one turns ratios and select those parts and in a variety of sizes. And then we also have one of our featured products is LPD5030V. The V, standing for high voltage isolation, offers up to 1,000 volts of winding to winding isolation in a very small form factor. It's really kind of amazing. If you see that next to what we think of as a transformer, you probably wouldn't recognize those as the same type device. Yeah, it really is pretty small. What are the dimensions on that? Uh, we have standard products as low as three by three millimeters in footprint and as low as one millimeter in, in height. Very popular sizes range of three, four, five millimeter footprints. Uh, really low profile from, from say one to three millimeters is, is very common. Well, that's pretty interesting. I had no idea that coupled inductor technology had progressed to that degree. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Lee.